Yeah, the Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association, along with many other restaurants that I talked to today, say they're disappointed, but they say that they're now going to work to uh, reverse this ruling or just stop another extension from happening. I think it's completely ridiculous. I think there's no logic or common sense used. That's what Troy Tank thinks about restaurants being closed for dine-in service. And it seems like the Michigan Restaurant and Lodging Association, or the MRLA, agrees working to block Michigan's ban on indoor dining. But today, a U.S. District Judge decided to reject that, citing a plausible explanation for the state order exists, and it's that people can't eat or drink without removing their mask, a step that could spread the virus. Before, they had to be sitting in restaurants, and then they could take their mask off because it was safer once they were sitting and not walking to the table with their mask on. So to say that they contradict um, themselves over and over and over through this whole process, um, you know, people say, well, you got to follow the science. Well, how could anybody at this point follow any of the science or, or think that there's any validity to any of it when it's been so over all over the map? Tank owns a former big boy now named the Sandusky Family Diner. They haven't closed this time around for dine-in service despite fines and pushback. Tank says they're still going strong, but many other restaurants are not as brazen. The MRLA, along with many other restaurants, are pushing back using legal channels, suing the state health director, citing that they can safely provide indoor dining and that they are being treated unfairly when compared to other businesses. The MRLA released this statement saying, in part, presumptions and generalizations will not suffice and should no longer be tolerated given the significant human toll that they have wrought from closing restaurants for a second time this year. The restaurant group is now trying to prevent an extension of the order and have asked the state to provide clear and specific data to justify the sustained closure of restaurants across the state. Maybe a little hiccup in their plan, but I can't imagine they're going to quit just like we're not going to quit. The judge did consider the restaurant group's claims under the federal constitution, but declined to address whether or not the law used by the health department violates the state constitution. And the judge said that he might ask the Michigan Supreme Court uh, to move forward there to find out what should happen with that.